Section. Introduction. In this section, we delve into the origins and advancements of diffusion models, which are deeply rooted in the principles of non-equilibrium thermodynamics. Initially, these models were employed to progressively eliminate noise from inputs, thereby producing clearer images. Subsequent innovations, such as DDPM and DDIM, further refine these models by introducing a training paradigm that involves both forward and reverse processes. Despite these advancements, the image quality produced by diffusion models had room for improvement until guided diffusion emerged. This approach conducted thorough experiments to discover an improved architecture, marking a significant leap over GAN-based methods in terms of image quality. Following this breakthrough, technologies like Glide, Imagine, Dahl E2, and Stable Diffusion have achieved photorealistic images, gaining popularity among artists. However, the application of diffusion models beyond visual generation has been relatively unexplored. In our work, we explore the remarkable ability of diffusion models to generate high-performing model parameters, a task distinctly different from traditional visual generation. This task, known as parameter generation, involves creating neural network parameters that excel in specific tasks. It has been previously approached through stochastic neural networks and Bayesian neural networks, but the use of diffusion models for this purpose remains largely uncharted territory. Upon examining the similarities between neural network training and diffusion-based image generation, we observed that both processes can be seen as transitions from random noise or initialization to specific distributions. Moreover, both high-quality images and high-performing parameters can be broken down into simpler distributions, like the Gaussian distribution, through the addition of noise. These insights led us to propose a novel method for parameter generation, which we call Neural Network Diffusion, PDIF, with P, standing for parameter. This method utilizes a standard latent diffusion model to generate a new set of parameters by transforming a given random distribution into a specific one. Our approach is straightforward. We first train an autoencoder on a subset of parameters from models optimized by the Stochastic Gradient Descent, SGD, optimizer to capture their latent representations. Then, we use a standard latent diffusion model to create latent representations from random noise. Finally, these representations are passed through the decoder of the trained autoencoder to produce new, high-performing model parameters. Our method stands out for several reasons. Firstly, it consistently achieves similar or even better performance than the models trained by the SGD optimizer, across various datasets and architectures, and it does so within seconds. Secondly, the models generated by our approach significantly differ from the trained models, demonstrating our method's ability to synthesize new parameters rather than merely memorizing training samples. We hope our research will shed new light on the potential applications of diffusion models in domains beyond visual generation. Moving on to the preliminaries of diffusion models, these models typically involve forward and reverse processes across multiple steps or time steps. We introduce these processes as follows. The main goal during the training of a diffusion model is to find the reverse transitions that maximize the likelihood of the forward transitions at each time step. Practically, this involves minimizing the variational upper bound. During inference, the aim is to generate novel samples from random noise using the optimized denoising parameters and the multi-step chains in the reverse process. In summary, our proposed neural network diffusion, PDIF, aims to generate high-performing parameters from random noise. This process involves selecting a subset of parameters from trained high-performing models, flattening them into one-dimensional vectors, and then using an encoder to extract latent representations from these vectors. A decoder is then used to reconstruct the parameters from the latent representations. A standard latent diffusion model is trained to synthesize latent representations from random noise. After training, we use PDIF to generate new parameters through a chain that goes from random noise to the reverse process, then through the trained decoder, and finally to the generated parameters. To train the parameter autoencoder, we flatten the parameters into one-dimensional vectors. An autoencoder is then trained to reconstruct these parameters. To improve the robustness and generalization of the autoencoder, 
we introduce random noise augmentation in both the input parameters and the latent representations. The encoding and decoding processes are parameterized by specific variables, and the latent representations are denoted by another variable. Random noise is added to both the input parameters and the latent representations, and the reconstructed parameters are obtained. We typically use an autoencoder with a four-layer encoder and decoder and minimize the mean square error loss between the reconstructed parameters and the original parameters to train the autoencoder. Section Summary In this section, we introduce a novel approach called Neural Network Diffusion, PDIF, that focuses on generating high-performing model parameters from random noise. Our method involves training an autoencoder to extract latent representations from a subset of trained parameters, followed by using a standard latent diffusion model to synthesize new parameters. By leveraging this approach, we are able to consistently achieve similar or enhanced performance compared to models trained by the Stochastic Gradient Descent (SGD) optimizer, showcasing the potential of diffusion models in parameter generation tasks. Section: Parameter Generation in this section, we discuss the method of generating new parameters for neural networks. One straightforward approach is to use a diffusion model to create these new parameters. However, this method requires a lot of memory, which becomes a problem when dealing with very large sets of parameters. To address this, we focus on applying the diffusion process to the latent representations instead. Specifically, we take a set of initial latent representations extracted from a parameter autoencoder and apply a diffusion process known as DDPM optimization. In this process, we introduce noise step by step, where the amount of noise introduced at each step is controlled by a sequence of hyperparameters. The noise is Gaussian, and we use a special network to gradually remove this noise. Once we've trained this system, we can start with random noise and use the trained network to reverse the noise addition process, creating a new set of effective parameters. These new parameters are then combined with existing model parameters to evaluate new models. We've noticed that neural network parameters and image pixels are quite different in terms of data type, dimensions, range, and how they're interpreted. Unlike images, neural network parameters don't usually have a spatial relationship, which is why we use 1D convolutions instead of 2D in our autoencoder and parameter generation processes. Moving on to our experiments, we first set up our experiments for reproducibility and then compare our results with two baselines across various datasets and architectures. Our observations show that our method often performs as well as or better than the baselines, proving it can learn and generate high quality parameters from random noise. Additionally, our method shows consistent performance across different datasets, highlighting its versatility. We also conduct extensive ablation studies to further understand our method's characteristics. For example, we train the RESNET18 model on CIFAR100 and report on various accuracy metrics. Through these studies, we demonstrate our method's effectiveness in generating neural network parameters. By analyzing the parameter patterns of original models, we find specific patterns in the parameters of different layers, which our method can learn to generate high-performing parameters. We also explore whether our method is simply memorizing the original models or actually generating new parameters. By comparing the similarities between original and generated models, we find that as the number of original models increases, the generated models become more diverse indicating that our method is capable of generating new, effective parameters rather than just memorizing. Lastly, we discuss how our approach relates to stochastic and Bayesian neural networks, which also learn priors over network parameters to improve robustness, generalization, and uncertainty assessment. While these methods have been effective in small-scale settings, our approach, leveraging a trained diffusion model, shows promise in real-world architectures, offering a new way to learn parameter priors for neural networks.